Hi all, welcome to my channel, I'm Matt, this is Matt's Mod And today guys, we are going to continue with our Lamborghini Miura So we are going to do stage 44 of pack 6 of build the Lamborghini Miura And we're just going to continue with the interior We're going to be doing the pedals today and some of the switches for the pedals That are obviously going to go to the electrics And I think we have a revving noise when we touch the accelerator and then if we touch the brake lights, we'll have the brake lights come on in the back, which is going to be absolutely amazing. I'm really, really looking forward to uh, to that one. But um, yeah, let's get started on this one today. So with all that said, let's get modelling. Okay, we today are going to install the pedals on this uh, Lamborghini Miura. So the first part we need to start is this one here. And first of all, we need to grab the accelerator pedal. Now, this is this one here. Um, it's the longest of the uh, pedals, so it's standard in most uh, cars. Okay, so that's going to go on there just like that. Next, we need the brake pedal. This has got a hook on. It's got like a square pedal on it. And again, that's just going to go in the same way. So that hook has to go to the bottom. And that's just going to go just on there like so. Now, the next is we need to put in the switches for these. Now, one of them has a white end on it. And one has the green end on it. Now, the cable we need to put in first is the white one so it's got the white end on it and that's just going to go there just behind the accelerator pedal and then obviously the next one is the green one and that's going to be going just behind the brake pedal just there just like so okay so I'm trying not to mix these up because the problem is if you touch the, if you get these wrong way around, you touch the accelerator cable, then the brake lights will come on. Uh, you touch the uh, brake, and then the acceleration sounds might start. So, um, yeah, best to get these the right way around in the first place. Okay, so the next bit we need is this bit here. Now, this is going to be fitting just on top to lock all these in. So I'm just lining it all up. There is a pin that's going to go in. That's going to not hold it in because we do have to put a screw in on this one. But we just want to make sure that all them switches are engaged. And then we can kind of lock this into place. From what I'm seeing from the pictures, like it's got to sort of go over them. So let's just get this put in correctly. Okay think that is nearly almost there we do have to screw this down but from what I'm seeing is it's lined up with a screw hole that pin is lined up it's not just that you want to make sure Just making sure the, uh, so that's making a good contact there. Because there's a, I don't know, clicking noise. But the brake pedal just seems to be a little bit, 
you can get to the switch but the actual pedal itself just feels a little bit not as free ah hear that now that's making a better contact okay um and then we need to type uh screw this in with a type k screw and then once i've done this i'll just check to make sure that they're all still clicking together it's quite tight fit but yeah 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 all are good fantastic okay so next what it says for us to do is to insert the uh, clutch uh, pedal obviously the clutch pedal doesn't do anything um so now i'm just double checking where this goes so sort of a hole just underneath and that's just gonna slot in you can just see a hole just in there that's just gonna slot into place okay so all of them are in place i don't want that clutch pedal to come out but i want it to sit right okay okay so they're now all in place next we need the interior grab that here we go because we're going to be installing this now so the way he wants us to install this is we've got to try and get these to the uh, bulkhead which might be easier said than done but we'll we'll give this a give it a good shot okay maybe not like that uh just in theory they should Cables need to be away from me. See that clutch pedal's come out. I may have to uh, glue that. So it's going to be quite annoying if that's going to come out all the time. So we'll just feed these. Ah, come out again. Right, so what we'll do is we'll glue that in place while we're here. It's not going to affect anything. It's just going to be very, very annoying. I mean, if yours fits fine, but I'm just going to make sure that this isn't uh, going to come out. And then I'm going to do contortion right on this model. Try and get it all in, especially when the seats are in place. Just checking all them still click. That's in. Okay, so we'll try again. Okay, that seems to have fitted a lot better. Now, this just is supposed to click in. So I'll click from one side, click from the other. That's in place. Ah, you can see how them pedals work now. So that's the accelerator. That's the brake. That's the clutch. That's not doing anything. Bit of a weird setup to um, cars that I've seen, but. Uh, yeah okay that's fantastic so that's now in place uh we pushed it into place and that is it that's it for this issue 
So, let me just uh, put a few bits to air. So, we've uh, basically installed the pedals. Remember, the clutch didn't do anything, but they do. Okay, now we've got some bits left over. We've got this, which I think is a what you call a resting pedal. So, for long journeys, you put your foot on this just to rest it if you want to hold it using the clutch. Um, a lot so say if you were on the motorway freeway autobahn or anything like that you'd use that rest your left foot and then also we have this little detail here now this is saying in the manual or the instructions that this is the uh, cigarette lighter don't see much of them in the car anymore um, but again these need to be stored away for another time so i will put them away uh, with my other bits for this vehicle but it's looking really nice i'm not too happy how a few scratches are from there but uh, yeah looks absolutely fantastic so that is issue 44 yep stage 44 complete well guys that's it for the lamborghini mura today thanks for tuning in there uh, not a lot to do on that one even though the uh, pedals were a little bit tricky Especially that uh, clutch pedal, definitely the right idea to glue that in in place and then it doesn't come out uh, in the future because that probably would be quite a uh, pain to get to when the dashboard is in and the seats are in and everything else like that. So um, I'm really chuffed that I decided to uh, glue that in on that issue and uh, it, it's, it's entirely up to you what you do with your models, you know. I just think it's easier for me and it's just going to keep it safe. Um, I will. I have put them uh, little bits away that we didn't use in this issue. It does frustrate me when we don't use parts and we have to save them because, uh, yeah, you don't have to get damaged. I think that's the one main thing in this is you don't want the parts to get damaged. You want to be able to use them, but you have to install them away. But uh, luckily, I've been doing this for a while now. I've got plenty of storage space for things like that. Anyway, enough of me rambling on. If you like this video, please could give it a massive thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of any future videos. But as for always, guys, stay safe and bye for now.